look at this fucking guy. Uh, he doesn't exactly look like a school teacher, does he? In fact, he's a career criminal, probably because no one would hire a guy that looks like that. Uh, and his choice of crime is bank robbing. Mm. Right? That's David Mark Radcliffe, a.k.a. the I-4 Bandit. Uh, a man convicted of robbing six banks in Clearwater, Tampa, and Orlando in the mid-90s, and suspected of robbing 13 more along I-4. Uh, shout out Tampa, shout out St. Pete. So this wow. guy is just a bank robbing extraordinaire, uh, and he got arrested in the mid-90s for a, a, a string of robberies. So he's uh, been in jail since? Yes, well, he got out. Um, they let this freak out of jail after serving the majority of his 25-year prison sentence, and I can assure you it was not for good behavior. He probably just beat the shit out of the parole board until one of the dweebs signed his release forms while being choked out, um, and they, they let him out, uh, you know, I guess June of this year, which was not a good idea, because guess what? Guess what the I-4 bandit did as soon as he got out? Robbed some banks. He robbed a shitload of banks on I-4. Yep, there you Same go. Same places, huh? Same place, can you believe it? <laughs> Yeah. He, got, he, he got arrested this Tuesday after robbing a Clearwater Wells Fargo at 639 South Fort Harrison Avenue at around 1030 a.m. Uh, he likes to get it in early, but not too early, right? Because he waits for that first rush of people to go through and then they have to go back to work. And then he hits it before the, the lunch rush comes because he's a fucking pro. He's the I-4 bandit. Mm. He's the, he's the GDID bandit, I-4 bandit. Uh, he also doesn't have time for hero tellers uh as you can see here in this picture um he uh he got sick of the teller taking their sweet time and he leaped over the counter himself and grabbed the cash himself while the teller probably wet themselves looking at this hulk of a man uh in yeah. action yeah he's in a rush yeah oh yeah i mean he's got to get he's got to get to more banks uh right. after he after he got the money he ran from the bank with it and a witness saw ratcliffe get into a red dodge magnum and speed away of course this guy was in an american car he is american muscle uh you think he would <laughs> think he would have been caught dead in a fucking toyota he does no. kind of look like an evil dom toretto yeah Yes, exactly. He's uh, he's not. No one's seen Ratcliffe pull up in a Honda or a Kia. It's always American, sometimes German. Uh, so so the police knew the car and they spotted it at a nearby gas station, this red Dodge Magnum in Clearwater. And the chase was on. Uh, and now Radcliffe, Radcliffe is a one man uh, bank robbing crew himself. He's an expert getaway driver, too. So he got away uh, and tried to ditch the Dodge and steal a truck uh where when he fist fought the truck driver and threw him out of the truck grand theft auto style like just you know give me the truck uh and that didn't go too well so then he ran away on foot and a helicopter then had eyes on the i4 bandit and uh the k9 team was deployed and they found the bandit hiding in some brush a short while later <laughs> and then the canines bit the shit out of him and he was captured and he could be heard screaming not the dogs again uh <laughs> i want you copper yeah, i want you different a little yeah. different these days trying to rob a bank than it was 25 years ago. It is. He failed. Well, yeah. actually, he didn't. Because, uh, yeah, going mm -hmm. back. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's back to the clink for, for life probably now. Yeah. As he suspected of robbing several other banks during the four months he was out of jail. Oh, this sure, summer yeah. And, uh, and fall. And it's pretty easy to tell it's him because he looks like this in all the bank footage. Just a hulk <laughs> of a man. <laughs> <in all> the... <laughs> Who else could it be besides David Radcliffe? Look at the fucking shoulders on this oh, guy. That's the I-4 bandit. He's, yeah. sure. he's, he's a man. monster. Yeah. yeah, He's huge. He's, he's got huge. a little, like, black skull cap. Like, like, like winter cap on he looks, too, like looks like every bank robber in a movie right he's so. a freak look at the size yeah. of that freak he it's this is like when superman wears like the the, the like one thing over his eyes and they're like who mm -hmm. could it be right it's like it's it's the guy it's that's the i4 bandit he's like a monster no one's i just like keep him. imagining him walking into a job interview <laughs> oh yeah People he's not getting not hiring him hey uh what do you mean i need a resume <laughs> i'm here he to work thanks <laughs> yeah no one's hiring that guy <laughs> Yeah, so he just said, I mean, this guy was just addicted to the game. He was addicted yeah. to, to robbing banks, and it didn't matter how long he was in jail. He was going to rob a bank as soon as he got out. I, I think yeah. he I think he was in jail for so long, and he knew that he wasn't actually going to pull his life together, that he just decided to have a nice little run for, you know, he knew. I think he always knew he was going to go back to jail, but he was going to have a hell of a time while he was out, out of pretty jail. Sure he, this wasn't guy, gonna, he wasn't going to go try to get a job and live, like, a, a menial, like, life, you know? Pretty sure this guy <laughs> dreams, this guy dreams about robbing banks. Yeah. I don't think there's really anything more to him than that he yeah. was he's not going to be rehabilitated well, he had a fun four months yeah i mean yeah, it's a simple he got thing away with a life. Few. yeah mm -hmm. right 
he, I don't think he killed anyone. I don't. So like, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he did. He, he went out doing what he loved. You know. Now he gets yeah. to go back to to the clink, which he may not really uh, not. He, pr he, he might, probably dominates. Look at him. Yeah, he, his might, own he might not be that that upset about it. Yeah. So. No, he probably runs shit in the in the prison. Uh, I, I mean, I've watched enough prison shows to think that Ratcliffe can handle himself in prison by the size of that monster. Oh, he would dominate uh, sixty days in. Yeah, exactly. There's some dweebs in prison compared to Ratcliffe. Time to work my way to the top again. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, gonna beat the shit out of everybody day one. Oh yeah, he he makes a scene day one. Uh, because the the processing where they have to like put him in the in this holding cell. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be in the holding cell uh, with Ratcliffe because there's some people in there for some very minor shit. Uh, He's gonna make an example out of somebody. Whoever looks at him first yeah. is getting their ass kicked. I just uh, got a DUI. I had a bad night. I got a fight with yeah. my wife. Yeah, some career <laughs> bank leave robber me, just mugs you. <laughs> Sucks for you. Yeah. <laughs> Your wife, huh? Mm. Yeah. You're my <laughs> wife now. <laughs> And that's, uh, that's Florida Man Friday for you. So to get much more of that style of content, head over to patreon.com slash hardfactor where we have a year's worth of all Florida Man Friday content Ooh. and episodes available for just $5 a month. Come on.